Hey everybody, Pedro Correa here with Ricky Whittle. When did you first know you wanted to be an actor? When they started paying me to do it. <laughs> yeah. that's, a, that's, a, that's a serious statement. And, and how long until that happened though? Right, well I started off in sports. I was very, very sporty. Okay. Um, and I was playing soccer, uh, or in mm. England we like to call it football. Correct. Um, just quickly, in England we play football because it's, it's a ball and we use our feet. In America they call it football, but it's an egg, and they use their hands. Go figure. Anyway, <laughs> so I was playing soccer, football, and um, I used to pick up a lot of injuries. Um, I, I, I was very injury prone, and um, mm. but I, was, I played at a good level, played international and things like that. I was very good, and you know, I was scouted by many clubs. Uh, I was going to play for Arsenal and things like that, and it was, wow. it was, all, everything, it was every, everything was going great, but then I just kept picking up injuries, and Arsenal let me go. Mm. Um, and so my dad said, look, Go to university, get a degree, and then at least when you get an injury, it wasn't if, he said, when you get an injury, right. when you're playing oh, soccer, yeah. you've got someone to fall back on. Mm. So I went to university, studied law, um, did that for a couple of years, and then I did a bit of modeling to mm. pay for my books. You know, I had friends who were stacking shelves at the supermarket and, yeah. you know, working in bars and, and restaurants and stuff, which I did mm. a little bit too. Um, but I thought, you know, that's hard work. Let's stand in front of a camera and smile. <laughs> Ding. Yeah. <laughs> we can put that in after. <laughs> there you go. Um, and that's basically how it started um, because my modeling agent put me forward for a show called The Dream Team. Um, it was a, it's a show kind of like Friday Night Lights over here in America where um, you've got the American football uh, team uh, at a school and it's kind of like the life of, of, of all those kids in that thing. Well, right. it kind of came from our show, which is Dream Team. It's kind of mixed between that and Any Given Sunday where you've got you've got a, a professional soccer team mm -hmm. uh, that plays in a league and they, they're very clever using CGI that, make us, that shows us playing against teams like Manchester United, uh, Chelsea, Barcelona, uh, oh, yeah. Real Madrid and things and it's very clever but then behind the scenes it's like we've got problems on the pitch and then we've got problems off the pitch you know like we sleep with each other's wives, there's assassinations, there's bomb Whoa. threats, there's <laughs> killing you know there's all these crazy things that so we went from Dream Team to, to, to Hollyoaks and, and you know I did various dramas and things and then you mm. come to America and no one knows or what you've done, and so you have to start again right. from scratch. Um, you have to introduce yourself to the casting directors again, to all the mm. agents, and to all the all the you know producers and things. And they, they need to get to know your name and your face, and 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 then they need to see your work and if you've actually you know versatility and you know if you can do this, if you can do that. What can you do? What's your wheelhouse? You know, are you going to be just that guy, or can you do that? Can you do this? Um, and so you've got to kind of learn everything all over again it's it's kind of crazy it's yeah. it's kind of crazy but you know it's 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 something you have to do you know when you're traveling more this summer right you're going to germany did you mention possibly or? um fingers oh. crossed oh. i mean i mean i'm going to germany i mean there might be a project in germany you know yeah, a wonderful yeah. film called the blue mauritius um Although. Blue yeah i mean we're, we're still, obviously i can't talk too much about it but it's mm. you know, we're still in talks and you know, fingers crossed Warner Brothers um, managed to work out our schedules because uh, it kind of conflicts with the 100. Mm. So that my, my, my agent has been working his butt off uh, trying to figure out the schedule um, so that I can kind of film both because it's Vancouver, it's uh, Mauritius and it's Berlin. So mm. it's literally all over the place. Wow. Um, and will basically mean me flying from Vancouver to Germany, back to Vancouver, back to Germany to Vancouver, back to Germany to Mauritius to Vancouver, back to Mauritius to Vancouver. Whoa. <laughs> so it's a lot of travel, so yeah. fingers crossed that comes. But um, no, it's an incredible project called the Blue Mauritius. Um, uh, and it's kind of like an Ocean's Eleven feel, you know, five young glamorous international thieves are brought together by a big money man, kind of like a Charlie, Charlie's Angels, mm. uh, to pull off a huge heist in Berlin. Um, and uh, you've got a Brazilian, uh, a French, German, an American, and a Brit. Uh, and they, these individuals are all brought together to work as a team, mm -hmm. which doesn't go quite so well at the beginning. Um, and they kind of have to just work out their, their little rivalries and things and, and, and try and pull off this heist. And mm -hmm. I'll be playing the, the Brit, who's basically, uh, he's basically a James Bond type character. He's the, he's the car guy and a seduction artist. So he sleeps with lots of girls for secrets and keys and he drives an Aston Martin. He's the car guy, the getaway car guy. Um, it's a great role. <laughs> yeah, it's sounds like a role. And you know, fingers crossed all, all works out. And then uh, 
it'll be back to the 100 again, back to Vancouver for, for six months of uh, Canadians. Well, thanks for stopping by, Ricky. Mm. Appreciate it. Appreciate you uh, being here with us. Bye.